What's up, everybody? Hope everybody is having a fantastic day today. It's beautiful outside, nice and hot and humid, perfect for the toucans, of course. Uh, so basically, I just want to talk about... Oh, Maria, <laughs> you all right there? So basically, I'm not sure if you guys have seen this or not, but I know I've been getting questions and comments about it constantly, and I debated whether or not doing this video at all because I really don't want to be the well actually type of guy. <laughs> but people uh, apparently think that toucans have transparent skin. And I thought this would be a great opportunity to start a new video series where we go over common myths and misconceptions about toucans. So we're going to go over that today. And we're going to go over it, to, over it in uh, quite a bit of detail and explain what you're actually seeing in that video. So the, I think the daily, do, daily dose of internet, or yeah, I think that was it. Posted the video. In case you didn't know, toucans have transparent skin that allows you to see their bones and veins. So in the video, they claim that toucans have transparent skin and you can see their bones and veins and stuff through it. And that's just simply not true. Um, so toucans, and well, all birds, really, have very thin skin, and they've evolved this way over tens of millions, hundreds of millions, even, of years since their ancestors, the theropod dinosaurs, to become very efficient and lightweight creatures. Part of that includes having thin skin. So all birds aside from maybe flightless birds like ostriches, emu, cassowary, stuff like that, have this thin skin. In fact, it's, it's so thin that in species of passerines, uh, people who ban birds to, for research and purposes and things like that, when they capture the birds, they put the ban on their leg. On young passerines, they can actually uh, look at the top of their head with a substantial light source and see and be able to determine how old the bird might be within their first year of life by how uh, thick their skull is. So the skull of these birds in their first year of life thickens up uh, through a process called ossification. And with a substantial life source, they can actually tell the density of the bone through the head and determine how old the bird is uh, within the first year, of course. So if you were to take this skin of this bird and just by itself and stretch it up, and this is not a toucan, by the way, this is just, you know, your average chickadee that you might find in your backyard. Take it, hold it up. Uh, with light, you would be able to see a fair amount of translucency through it. It's not truly transparent. It's not transparent, clear, like a, uh, a glass frog might be, for instance. Um, but all birds are this way. Well, all the birds we're talking about at least. And toucans are this way too, but there is a but. There's something different that's weird about toucans that's unusual and... Or, well, Beatrix is preening over here, so... Oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll continue using Lalo as our model right now. And I'll probably have to cut some footage of Rhea a little bit later to demonstrate a little bit better. So we're just going to look at Lalo for now. He is a channel build toucan, um, just for reference. So anyways, as I was saying, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, that's right. <laughs> the weird thing about toucans and why it's noticeable and why, uh, so I've done this before where you stretch the little, uh, the skin on the neck up. I've done that, you know, I did it years and years ago and I just, I didn't really think much of it. I, sometimes I, I don't realize that things that are normal to me people might find interesting and I'm trying to be better about recording some of that stuff because um, they are very curious and interesting birds but the reason it's so noticeable on toucans is there's something very different about them and the way that their skin is made up and their feathers are that's different from other birds um, so toucans are in the family of pisiforms which is like woodpeckers and barbettes and other species like that. And they have, uh, I th I'm pretty sure, I went and did some research, and actually I did a lot of research for this video as well, and I'm trying to go off the top of my head, so I apologize. Um, no script or anything like that. 
So I did find a video of somebody pulling the feathers apart on a uh, woodpecker, and it seems like they have the same kind of feather uh, pattern and consistency as toucans, which is what I'm about to get into, because I think it's probably all pisiforms, but we're going to be specifically talking about toucans, because that's you know what the channel's about. But if anybody has any experience with other species of pisiforms, I'd be really interested to see in the comments if you could leave one and let me know if this is true for them as well. Uh, toucans have very thin feathers and no down. And they have tracks of feathers that I, I'll, I'll show you, I'll have to cut, do a cutaway to show you. I'm going to do a few different uh, examples as well. Uh, but toucans body feathers grow in these tracks in their skin so when they're pulling that little cuff of skin above the neck up and you can see that kind of mass at the top it's not like veins and stuff it's the well there is va vasculature in it but it's not like a bone or a vein or an artery or anything like that what they're seeing is uh, the dermis and the vasculature that the feathers are attached to and get blood supply from and the rest of the skin surrounding that doesn't have all that dermis that's thick like that. It's very thin in other parts of their bodies because their feathers, unlike other birds, like if you looked at a chicken plucked, if it was plucked or you know had little tiny feathers, mostly bald, you would see feathers sporadically kind of growing everywhere. And if you have parrots or something at home, you'd probably see the same thing. And they'd also have down um, more than likely. I don't think, I think a collectus uh, might not. Collectus feathers are very similar to toucan body feathers. Can we look at your feathers, buddy? If you look at their feathers, they're very thin and they're almost like hair. They look like a, almost like an ostrich feather. Like they're very thin and I'll, I'll put some footage of a feather just by itself from its body. And Lalo is probably a pretty good little model for this because you can really see it well on his, uh, the red band there on his breast. Here, look up here, buddy. Look. Hopefully you can see that if we can get in focus. So there's tracks of body feathers on each side of the... <laughs> on the underside. <laughs> on, uh, I'm trying to demonstrate. It's like basically, I'll show a picture of it too, but I'll point it out on Lalo. Can, I, can you just stay still so you can model for me, buddy? We're trying to teach people about you. Okay, I'll, calm down, geez, all right. <laughs> all right also I'll, I'll show pictures and intercut some footage but um so basically there are tracks of feathers that other birds do not have in the way that the toucan's body feathers grow so uh there's and i'll put a, a an illustration as well up so you can kind of see what i'm talking about there's the epidermis of course on top and then you have the dermis which is very thin where there's not feather tracks and underneath that, you have the subcutaneous tissue. Uh, so those tracks where the feathers grow out of have a lot of uh, dermis and subcutaneous tissue and the vasculature, of course, to supply blood to the feathers. And it's much thicker in those areas. The reason our skin doesn't look transparent, although it is to some extent, like if you held up a flashlight to your finger or to your ear or something like that, you'd be able to see through it. But birds, uh, specifically toucans, well, actually just two cans, do not have that thicker layer between those tracks of feathers. They don't have a thick layer of the dermis or uh, subcutaneous tissue and things like that between because they're made to be very efficient. They're made to be very lightweight. That would be a complete race, waste of resources to have, you know, thick tissue and skin in areas where they don't need to supply blood to feathers. So it's and not really certain why toucans have such thin feathers. And you can see, oh, well, I was going to show you his tail because you can kind of see how they are very wispy and almost hair-like in the way that they are. Um, it's most likely they are this way for thermoregulation. So birds can't perspirate like we can and they have to find other means to cool themselves down. Toucans uh, use their beaks as a uh, radiator to thermoregulate themselves. And that probably pairs well with the fact that they have very thin feathers on their body as well. So they can keep themselves cooler that way. And, uh, you know, they're just more efficient. 
Uh, they're very weird and unique and interesting animals for sure. Um, but what you're seeing is not true transparency. It's, it's translucent for sure, but you can't see their bones, you can't see their organs, and you can't, you know, it's not, like I said, it's not like a glass frog. They aren't transparent. People keep messaging me and thinking that if you were to, like, push their feathers away, you'd be able to see, like, their heart and their bones and stuff like that, and that's, that's just not true. Their skin is no different than any other birds. Uh, the, the thing that's unique about them is the way that their feathers grow and the tracks of feathers that they have and the fact that they have thin feathers to begin with where their skin is more noticeable. And the skin around a bird's head and neck are, you know, more thin to begin with because they have that long S-shaped neck. If Lala will stretch his neck out for me. Can you stretch your neck out? Look. See? how long their neck is, and when they fold it up, they look a lot, it's deceivingly long their neck is. They have very long, powerful necks. So, um, oh, we hear a car? <laughs> we can go over here and look at Beatrix for a moment, because if you look at her legs there, you can see that she's molting, and, uh, you can actually kind of see her legs, her bare legs, where she's molting because her feathers are so thin. So you wouldn't notice that on another bird because they, they have more feathers. They have down, they have stuff like that. Toucans don't have that. Am I freaking you out, girl? You want a you wanna toy or something to make you happy? While we talk, hold on. Ugh. Look, there you go. So yeah. So all birds have some level of translucency in their skin, uh, especially if they're smaller. Uh, toucans, it's more noticeable because they have thinner skin in the area between their feathers, and they have these tracks of feathers that grow in rows rather than just kind of everywhere. Like if you look at your arm, if you have a hairy arm like me, or a hairy leg for that matter, the hair is just kind of sporadically growing everywhere. So we have uh, thicker tissue underneath, and the dermis and you know all that kind of stuff. Oh, Rhea. <laughs> I didn't realize how hard it was gonna be to do something informative off the top of my head with them just flying around everywhere. Uh, Rhea, here, come here. Let's, let's use you as a model, come here, look. Oh, Beatrix is now in the way. We can look at Rhea's feathers there. You can see, oh, we can even see a little bit of her sternum there sticking out. She's molting also, they're all molting. So you can see a little bit of her skin there. And she'd probably let me, if I had three hands, I'd be able to do this. I'll have to get the footage of it later and it'll probably be earlier in the video. But yeah, they're pretty interesting little weird creatures. And the reason it appears transparent is only because that area of skin between the feather tracks is thinner than the rest. And um, you know, it's more noticeable because their feathers are thinner than other birds. And you can kind of stretch that skin up because it's elastic. And if you have a light source behind it, it's going to appear semi-translucent or semi-transparent. Translucent's really the right word. But for the most part, their skin's not any different than any other birds, aside from the fact the way their feathers grow and get blood supply and all that good stuff to the feathers. It grows in tracks, uh, so they have that thin layer between the tracks to, uh, you know, supply the, with blood and, and give it some, the feathers to actually something to grow into. So, ooh. having fun there, buddy? But anyways, hopefully that was a little informative. I know the answer isn't, and I, you know, I, I know the answer isn't entirely no. I mean, it's, it's translucent. It's not transparent. You can't, like I said, you can't see their organs and their bones and stuff. And, uh, you know, for proof of that, just look no further than a photo of a baby toucan without its feathers. So you can actually see a bald toucan fairly easily. Um, but hopefully that was informative. And if you made it this far in the video, then I applaud you for your dedication. And that makes me very happy. And if you did watch it all the way through, that must mean I'm doing something right. So why not support us on Patreon? 
we have our Patreon and things like that. We do the live streams in hope of creating a large toucan sanctuary, or larger, maybe not like giant, but a toucan sanctuary for these guys um, because there's no other one in the United States. So uh, really, really want to help these amazing creatures as much as I can. So uh, I love them very much. And I try my best to learn everything I can possible about them and, and provide them the best life I can. So we have Patreon to assist in that. And it also gets you ex extra added benefits like early video access and stuff like that as well. So check it out. It's as little as a dollar a month. Um, and it really does mean a lot to us and help us out a lot. But anyways, guys, I just want to thank you so much for watching. And we will see you next time. Bye for now, everybody.